Hello friends, this is Arun and welcome to my channel of Photoshop, Photography and Lightroom. Today we will teach about how to get uh, this type of result using this image and uh, this image is very beautiful and very nice as you can see here. Uh, this is my original image and I have applied so many filters and so many methods to this image and ultimately I have got this effect and uh, I have got so many mails and uh, students want to know about how to get uh, this type of effect uh, like album design and uh, lighting effect and uh, it's nice uh, it's a uh, really a nice effect as you, you can see here and uh, let's see how to get this type of uh, work in Photoshop CS6 so I have this image and uh, I'm in Photoshop CS6 so firstly I will make a new copy by Control J pressing Control J and uh, I will go to filter then uh, next software color effects In color effects, go to detail extractor filter and uh, I will boost its uh, details and uh, and uh, contrast 24 and detail extractor 37 and I will check more uh, 41. It's okay and uh, click on okay. So uh, this is the result by applying detail extractor next software. So after that I will make a new copy for this by control by pressing control J again. Now I will go to filter then uh, image nomic then portraiture. In portraiture I will put its value to high and uh, click on OK. Now see the result this is a detail extractor then this is uh, applying image nomic filter after applying image nomic uh, then make a new copy for this by pressing ctrl g now set its blending mode to hard light then uh, go to filter then others then high pass Uh, I will put its value to 5 around 5 and this is before and then this is after now I will check all these layers one by one this is my copy and this is next software then this is image now make and then this is high pass that's really nice so uh, this time I will make a new copy and uh, fill it with 50% gray uh, after making layer and uh, press shift F5 then uh, select 50% gray click on ok then fill it now set its blending mode to soft light ok now I will apply dodge and burn to this image and uh, you can check my previous tutorial for dodge and burn so friends this is the result after uh, doing uh, dodge and burn as you can see here this is doge and burn result and uh, see there is a uh, huge difference between both image uh, before and after this is uh, layer by layer difference and, uh, and this is original and uh, this is after applying effects so now I will merge all these layers by pressing ctrl shift alt e now again I will go to filter then next software then color effects I want little bit uh, contrast so I will uh, put some contrast to this image and now now click on OK. So this is the result after applying uh, detail extractor filter and uh, this is before and uh, this is after. So it's a really very nice effect as you can see here and uh, I will merge again all these layers. 
by pressing Ctrl Shift Alt E and this is the final layer I have got this is before and this is after okay now I will I will go to magic wand tool and uh, I will select white layer and uh, Ctrl Shift I to invert Ctrl J now I have cropped this image and uh, I have delete the background so so I have this uh, wallpaper and uh, it's a really a nice wallpaper and uh, I will put my image put this image on this wallpaper now I will transform it by pressing ctrl T position it Uh, click on OK OK now select this layer background and uh, I will go to adjustment layer then uh, click on here in saturation reduce its saturation and enhance some light now I will again go to this here in saturation go to color balance and uh, I want totally red and orange shade so it's OK now I will make a new copy for this color balance and uh, I want some little bit effect of this to this portrait so reduce its opacity okay now I will make a new copy fill it with black and white now make a mask and choose brush and uh, this time I want the knitting reduce its opacity it's uh, nice now again make a copy for this and uh, this time delete layer mask again press layer mask full opacity and uh, I want dark sides so that's why I have uh, I will try this Okay, that's nice. Set its opacity, check its opacity to light. Uh, Okay. Now I have used this uh, fire burst wallpaper. Now set its blending mode to something light. Position it around the left side on the upper part of this head. Okay. Mm, go to filter, blur, and uh, goes in blur. Uh, it's looking nice. 30. Okay. Now position it as you want. Think uh, it's a nice position. Okay. Now I will merge all these layers by pressing Ctrl Shift Alt E. Okay. Now I will go to filter, then uh, image. Sorry, it's a next after color effects. I want to boost uh, I will try this contrast firstly okay it's looking nice and I will try this detail extractor also uh, 
19 it's working better now click on ok now this is the final result as you can see here uh, it took us a lot of practice to get this effect and uh, friends i hope you have uh, liked this video and uh, I hope you have learned so many things from this tutorial and uh, please subscribe my channel for more updates and uh, keep continue to watch our inscription and uh, keep in touch with me on my email it's arunkumar0777 at gmail.com thank you friends keep watching our inscription please subscribe my channel also